My enemies are many. My equals are none. Welcome back to part 11 of my France Let's Play for Napoleon Total War with Darth Maul. We continue where we left things off last time. And it is time at last for the fall of London. The breaking of Britain. We'll forget that we've left Wales happily on its own for now. But we want to leave Wales alone so that they're not completely wiped out. So that we can take their ships. But this will, this will cripple them. This will break them. So let the breaking of Britain begin we go as always thanks for your comments advice tactics and suggestions are all greatly appreciated do keep them coming do it well nice and open for our deployment which means we should be able to set up our artillery nicely this is a pretty large force like 8700 odd okay Probably about 6k of that is the armed citizenry and fencibles, the militia garrison. But then they do have some Dutch uh, regiments of foot, some regular foot infantry, and also Damn, was it the British a, fusiliers. Wet powder makes misfires a certainty. They're there somewhere. Oh, um, British foot garrison. Oh, the 88th foot garrison in there as well. A lot of redcoats. A lot of redcoats. Who'd have thought? Right, how are we doing this? There's this forest over there, so I can't really set up the artillery as how I'd like. Unless we pull the center back. But then I've got to make sure these guys can fire. Uh, over here, we're okay. Okay, it's just going to be that one spot. That's fine. We will try and utilize the old guard and the grenadiers of the line Napoleon's bannermen more sparingly and, and kind of commit them in and fully when we actually need them. So I'm going to keep them in the center and look to push through. I mean, there's the Black Brunswickers, the foot. That's where they've got the best troops. So that would make sense to keep the old guard and the Grenadiers in line here should we need them to commit and to push through. We'll have one unit here in between the artillery. Then we're going to have another unit of artillery over here. Oh, you're down a bit of a ditch. That is not ideal. Can I pull you back to a bit more high ground? That's slightly better. I mean, I could have you all the way over here, but then that's too wide, I think. So pop you there. We'll need, I would have thought, two units grouped up. Oh, no. I've realized we're wider out than I thought. Three units. To reach to that cannon. Lovely, but that's also picked out the one that I had there. That's fine. Pop them back in. Mm, I don't have enough to... <clears throat> Unless we put the shop shooters on that side. Although I was thinking I was going to put the... Okay, no, we're going to go. We're going to stagger it a bit. That's fine. Go there. And then that last bit of artillery set here. And have these guys. Do -do 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 -do. Watching the flank. Go in light infantry doctrine. We'll have you guys watching support them there and we'll have the lancers oh i've mixed them no we don't want mixed ones because that'll just cause more kerfuffle there we go we're set up we're ready no oh, actually yeah, in fact we don't have anyone on the flank of that artillery do we can i we can do that Probably spread them out a bit more. 
monsieur. L'infanterie suisse attend les ordres. There we go. And then all we need to do is just shuffle that artillery over a bit. And shuffle you through center. Anyone else ever do this? Just like constantly make lots of almost minute tweaks and changes and shufflings to their deployment. I feel it's more so. I don't think there's one where you spend anywhere near as much time on your deployment as you do in Empire and Napoleon. Yeah, and then keep the old guard and the grenadiers in reserve, ready to commit should we need them to break the British center. You just probably just get to a point where you're just like, ah, that's good enough, right? Let's break Britain. The problem is here, I'd like to get my cavalry up behind them, but they are just going to spread out to be one long wall of red coat, which is actually kind of terrifying. Well, they won't be able to do it over here if I rush my cavalry up in time. So that's what we're going to try and do. Go, 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 go. Draw them in, lads. Draw them in. Oh, look at those. Yeah, if we could have pushed forward a bit more, I might have gone up to these hedgerows and actually had and the, the wall there and used that. But I don't think we can place troops on the hedgerow, though, can we? No. Only on the walls. Yeah, as I thought, they're going to lock us down here. So trying to charge in with the Lancers is not going to be easy to do. But it is armed cisternary. Mm, mixing with the fencibles. They've got the 88th foot. They will hold. The do is have you guys here. Maybe in wedge and just try and break through them. You guys have already moved around. They've already got troops trying to threaten. Away we go. Fire at will. Fire at will. Try and break that armed cisternary early. This flank in particular is going to be weak because all we've got are the... Uh... The skirmish troops. They're going to draw them back. What's it going to do? If they don't break on this... There we go. But we'll hit them with them all the same to truly finish them off so they're not coming back. Yeah, I can play stakes with these guys now. We're out of deployment phase and mode, but we don't need to because they have no... No cavalry. Pull back. Oh, yeah, it went too close to the line. Get back, get back, get back. That's fine because it gives my skirmishers time to do some stuff. Fencibles will be slightly tough. I think fencibles can form square. What we need to do Sir. is Sir, our general is under draw attack. a unit over to hit them from the flanks. Just drawn them away from this whole flank, though. That's great. Napoleon's under attack. Inspire the troops. Give them a rally as well. Okay. They've actually started curving in with their line, or they've adjusted the line. Moving in towards the center. Break that center. If we clear their centre, what I'm thinking I'll do is I'll we'll push through with the old guard and the grenadiers to control the centre to face these guys. Because we'll need a new line to do that. I 
just sending all their troops after my cavalry over here. I mean, all this is doing, well, not all this is doing, this helps us quite a bit because it's drawing a five units, no, four units away. I'll try and charge the armed citizenry because they're the weaker units here. They should break under charge. But maybe my cavalry's taking too many losses. Let's see. I think these guys got a much better charge than the others, yeah. They've broken. Probably due to the friendly fire they're suffering. Keep dealing with them. How's my cavalry over here looking? Wedge. Oh, I've got to look at them storming in there at the center. Looks broken. Again, all we need to do here is break them. We do not need to hunt them all down. It's a settlement battle. Once they're gone, they're gone. All right, move up the old guard. We may not need them. Going to the fenceables. How's the rest of the line looking? Perfectly fine. Move up the skirmishes. That's broken them. Perfect. Into them you go. It's going pretty well. Okay, they've rallied here. That's it. Yeah, that kind of shot should rip through them at that angle. Pull it back. We'll get more troops reforming here. Keep on them. Seeing these guys off. Keep advancing. Send in the old guard and the grenadiers. Here we go. Finish them. There we go. With that, the old guard 
win the battle for us and break the last a remaining troops. Victory, sir. Job Sent done. To be yours. Britain is broken. Not just true in this game, but also right now. Oh, yeah. Getting that, getting that hard hitting relation to Total War today. Escapism in Total... No, no, it's an accurate reflection. Although we'd probably be in a... I don't know, would we be... Better state if we were... If Napoleon ruled over Britain right now? Probably. Nobody was expecting the political commentary today. <laughs> Right now, I'd quite happily take Napoleon. <laughs> we could do with a jolly good French invasion. Can't be worse than <laughs> what we're currently going through. Uh, Chasseur de Cheval, 1,011 kills. Beautiful. Bet the old guard didn't get much. No. Oh, Napoleon got assigned some kills at the end there. With the, yeah, the mopping up of troops. 792 lost, though. That is grand. And with that, we peacefully occupy London. And the people rejoiced. Can't repair that, though. Yet. Which is fine. Right, what are you going to do? Are you finally going to take your armies off your ships, or are you going to keep them there still? Duke of Wellington. Will you stand or will you run, lad? Will you stand or will you run? Right, they're now going to replenish over there, which is great. Uh, yeah, I probably shouldn't have hit Liverpool as hard as I did because now we've got to repair it. Right. That's all we can do for this turn. So let's see what happens. Austria making some moves on the border. Not much movement from Prussia, just kind of consolidating their forces. Wonder if they'll march and take Castle, Württemberg, and the Bavarian forces. Uneventful. Building farms here will help the ah, population to grow over time. They've they've wow ah, ah, ah. Where'd that army go? Into the trees? Okay, hang on. Undeveloped farmland, yeah, and that works on strike. Oh yeah. Forgot to exempt you. Oh, we are gonna have rebellions instant damn. That's gonna be nasty. Where is that army? I didn't see them move. Like they've actually come off the ships now. The army is there with uh, John Stratford Saunders. So they have deployed them at last. But where is that army? I'm assuming. They're in the trees. Let's try and catch Horatio's fleet. I uh, I mean, I could always retreat from it, can't I? So we can take out... These are just their trade ships, I think. I'm going to just see if I can move my fleet in to blockade them. They might try and intercept, in which case I'll flee. No. No, they do. Damn it. Oh, I'm intercepted by those guys. 
nuts. Those are the ones that I wanted. I wanted to blockade that so they wouldn't be reinforced. But the 122 gun ship of the line, apparently it's either bugged or its guns are all broken and it hasn't repaired them. I think it's probably more of a bug than anything else. Okay, retreat from that. That's annoying. But the thing is, I can't attack you without attacking them. I can kick the ships out of the port, but that still doesn't save me or serve me particularly well. Yeah, we've got to, we've got to leave Wales for now. Right, so we can march and attack this army. But there's also potentially still a force in the trees. So I'm do we trigger the ambush with Ney? I guess we do. Um although we could do it with cavalry instead. Um Let's send the lancers down here. Yeah, there he is. There is the Duke of Wellington. And you know what? I'm going to fight it because I'm going to see if I can maneuver my cavalry to knock out his cannon. Yes, that actually worked really well with this being an ambush. Or well, unless they just charge straight at me, but I might actually get a chance to just charge into some cannon. Go, 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 go. Might get a chance to take out the Duke of Wellington. I'll leave him. Let him have his duel with Napoleon. What are they doing? Sir! Sir, Thank our you is under attack. for allowing my force to try and knock out your artillery, though. This is splendid. Problem is they're broken, but they might still have a few that survive. We need to try and hunt them down so they get completely wiped after the battle. This will make it much easier for Ney and Napoleon to march. That's another cannon gone. On to the next one, please. Artillery back here, which I can't get to. Come on. No, they've got cavalry over. I was thinking, when are they going to actually send their cavalry in to counter me? I'm kind of surprised they didn't at the start, but I think it's because the AI always tries to kind of, I guess, almost redeploy at the start. But they can't handle ambushes where they're split like that. Mm, I'm not going to be able to catch you, am I? Try and get out. Before being hit by enemy cav. I, uh, I'm just thinking, can I get round to take out their other artillery at the back? I'm going to get caught by this cavalry, though. I'm going to get broken in a minute. You see, I'm kind of hoping as we might cause some friendly fire casualties to them. Yeah, that'll do. Shoot your own cavalry with cannon. Ah, no, I can't. I can't get in. Quick. Nah, I'm trying to turn. Can't. I can't do it. I've been caught. Oh. Go after that artillery crew. If we can. Try and finish them off properly. Well, there's that one over there as well. Still. Get out, get out, get out. Uh, starting to waver.
try and flank round. Getting shot at a lot. Our men nope. are running, sir. Morale's given up. Wait, they did they did well. They did well knocking out all that artillery. Let's see how many they're left with. Uh, they lost 166, so we can't actually see. Okay, not completely wiped. Uh, I want to have a Napoleon versus the Duke of Wellington. And I guess we bring Ney into London to deal with the rebels. They're not completely defeated either. And then Napoleon would also then have to march on um, Stratford Saunders. Potentially. Or we send Ney. Looks like you'd have enough movement to bounce into London as well. I mean, it's going to rebel next turn anyway. We can't stop it. Which will actually be pretty devastating because they'll normally spawn in with quite a lot. But, okay. Let's make the most of this. And face the Duke. Arthur Wellesley. Your artillery has just survived, but I don't ima imagine you'll have too many cannons. It's your foot. We'll bring the fury of the old guard. Here we go. At last, they're finally giving us a little bit of a fight. How many cannons does he actually have? So yeah, that one's got all four. That was the one the other side, I think. That one's down to just one cannon. That one's down to one cannon. That's got three cannons. But yeah, I think he's also lost one or two. I think he had like six before. Where can we position ourselves the most advantageous position? I think. Have you... Move on the flank there. Have you there? Have you there? And have you just on the clearing, or just on the edge of that wood there, a little bit into the trees? Actually, yeah, I'll push you forward a smidge. Nice. This time, I think I will have just the old guard and the grenadiers in the center, ready to then push forward. But they'll also, they'll, they will take some fire. They won't be held back in reserve, but we definitely want to push them forward and hold hold our center with all our strength. As if the last battle's anything to go by, they will uh, try and hit us with uh, their full strength in the center. Okay, that's going to have to be at a bit more of an angle. Otherwise, that's going to be diabolical. There we go. Mm, haven't quite got enough of what I want to do there, but that's fine. You guys hold along this ridge line that slopes on down to the left. That's fine. That's good. Then you guys... Through here. Lovely. That's better. Then have a unit hidden in the forest next to you. Well, oh, that's right. So that's as far as you can deploy, actually. And I was going to have skirmishes on the right. Supported by the lancers. And have these guys. All the way over on the left. And then Napoleon behind his favoured troops, the old guard. Lovely. Lovely stuff. You have cavalry? He does, actually. So he could always go in front of the line and place some stakes with those guys. Where'd you go? 
Are we taking out any more of their artillery right from the off? Yeah, they've lost a gun. Well, that one, they've got lots of cavalry. Warm up to envelop. Deploy stakes. Give it a little slide across the ground. Fully overlaps, nice. If place some as well. Oof. They're down to one cannon there. That's down to three or four. Keep blasting. At this point, I could probably go and harass them and draw them forward to us. But they might just charge when we've knocked all the artillery out. They've lost their last cannon there. Yeah, they're going now. That one's pulled back because it's lost its cannon as well. Let the artillery just wreak havoc on their line. Soon they'll have no artillery. Bloody dangerous, Sarge. Yep. Yes, it is. Very dangerous for you. Let's keep blasting. Where is he? There he is. Without their cavalry protecting them, we can send our own cavalry forward. Uh, 
harass their artillery position. Can't charge straight on in because they have actually built those stakes across there. It was flanked around the other side though. But yeah, I want to draw them to our position. They'll probably pull, push forward with the uh, cavalry. I'm surprised they didn't end up just going for a full-on charge. They've lost their last cannon. I'll clear these guys away. tries their best. To knock out the last ones. Are they broken? Yep, they have. And we'll now see their whole army push forward. Which is what we want. Just rallied. Will they go back to their artillery or have they been knocked? No, they're knocked off now. They won't come back. Back into the forest. Now send them to me. got seen off. Rallied. What are you doing with their line? Trying to stretch it. Having I mean, they charge and go straight into the stakes. Think your numbers up, Wellesley. Can't break the fury of Napoleon this day. Give it a give it a damn good try, won't you? Marching. Steady, steady in order. Servos and Empire. Don't know why they say. Yeah, they're, they're quite satisfying to listen to and to like just visually see as well. Uh, do we have any chat extensions? They're just the default one, and I've not added anything extra. Once a custom room from the pressure playthrough. Mm -hmm. Still nothing quite like a watching the march of a red coat. <laughs> Do 
Sharp won't save you today. We have killed their generals. Oh, now they must break. He's down. Artillery took him out. Yep. Night, night, Wellesley. Sleep tight. Withdraw with the skirmishers. Draw them in. Switch to canister. Ooh, run faster, boys. Run faster. Clear the cannon. But well um. Old guard. Give him hell. the old guard. Have them finish them off. Hello, who are you? A glorious victory, sir. Is the lance is into position. Yeah, that's all them away. Artillery. Limber up. Job done. Let's take them down a little bit more. Hunting down their infantry. So they can't uh, reform anywhere. Stakes, not the stakes. Machine is rallied. Oh, that <laughs> artillery at the back that's still going. Continue. One of our units has used all its ammunition, sir. That's the red line. They're going to... Yep. Stop soon. Finish them all off. Beautiful. Goodbye, Wellington's army. Last of the Black Bronzewickers fleeing for their lives. We lost 250. 
Got annihilated. GG. Yeah, so yeah, now Napoleon. Oh, of course, he can't quite hit it, although we could probably do it with our cavalry. Yeah, I mean, uh, London's going to rebel, but they could take it straight away, so we don't really want that. We want to have some defenders. I'm going to move him over. And then... Napoleon can finish them off and then turn on those guys. Yeah, I think that's what we'll do. Um, we'll resolve it. Yeah. It's fine. We've still, even if we get attacked by that force, we're still in really good shape to deal with them. A lot of cavalry, but we'll be okay. Uh, let's get things repaired. Get the farms. Get all the farms done. I say we'll have a new university, won't we? Of course, Oxford. Um, and we finished stuff before, didn't we? So go for the steam engine. We can now build the drill school. Supply post, supply warehouse, or that could be a a market. Um, the replenishment is nice. We won't need it long term, though. So let's change it on over to a market. That's recruitment cost, but I would much rather have it over to the manufactory because that gives us more region wealth as well. We've got in here. Yeah, could pop it up to a dry dock, but there's probably other things we need to do first. In fact, speaking of dry docks, yeah, we can get more ship of the lines here. Get those two in. They've got one more turn on them. We might be able to challenge Nelson. Can't do much else with that just yet. We're building up this force ready for Gibraltar, but that can wait now, I think. Um, in terms of... Austria, let's have a look. We've got those guys in there. That army is ready to repel Austrian invaders. They're just gathering their forces up around here for now. That's fine. Russia with that force staying there. Wittenberg have taken Kessel. Good. Good. I mean, I imagine it will fall to the Prussians pretty swiftly. But that's all right. It means we can continue, can, can continue to hold the line until we're done with Britain. I guess we have to decide what we're going to do about Spain. But for now, we are allied, so we'll leave them for now. We could invade Portugal. We are trading, but we could take them out. Bring direct control over Lisbon. It's actually got the great arsenal in there already. And then we can do an invasion of Sicily. Naples and look to strike Austria I guess from down here we're at peace with the Ottomans now strike Austria from here as well as the I guess probably holding the line or maybe taking that from Austria hold a line here and then just push directly north through the German states and take out Prussia we could even sail on round and seek to 
land at Stettin and then strike Berlin with some forces. Perhaps even Napoleon and Ney could do that while the rest of them start advancing up, going north and east. Yeah, I like it. Right, let's do one more in turn. And I forgot about you guys going to Miss Sugar. And you guys sailing along as well. I knew there was something else to do. Merchantmen. Okay, they're finally moving their ships. That's good. We have... Ah, nuts. Oh, they weren't able to do it. Come on. Keep an eye on where this fleet goes. They've gone to strike that port. That is fine. That army's marching north. Right. This is it. And we've got some... We've just had two more ships being built. I don't know if that's going to be enough to take on Nelson's navy, but... I feel like we might be about to have a big naval showdown. All to play for still. But yeah, you're going to want to reinforce your region there. Otherwise, it's just going to get taken by the Prussians straight away. Your nation is bankrupt because as your empire has grown, the administrative infrastructure needed to tax it efficiently has not grown with it. Take steps to get back on the ground by disbanding redundant units and upgrading governor's buildings throughout your territory. How are we bankrupt? Is that our main trading port? It should be that one, right? Has it changed? Are we getting some from here now? Won't generate anything for us because it's not getting in. I thought that was my main one. Oh, it must have it must have split off a load from here. You've really messed me up there, Nelson. How have we not got a full rebellion here? I thought we would do. Oh, is it? They both have to be upset to trigger it. Right, we'll need to march on that army. That's going to have to be Napoleon. And you'll have to move to London. And our navy will have to move around here to strike. Ratios. We need our full force, I guess. The 80, 80 guns. Will it be enough? I guess we will find out when we force this battle next episode. Forcing them out to face at the Bay of Biscay. Balance power is in their favour. I assume that's bugged and it does have 122 active guns. Horatio's first rate, 106. He's a 98 gun second rate and a first rate. So he's got four, basically let's say 100 plus guns. One, two, three... 100 plus comfortably. Then I've got those 74s and the 80s. 4s, 80s that outclass those. But then it's these um, Razis with 48 guns that will outclass my frigates. But I've got more frigates. 
fast moving should be able to deal with the sloops and the fourth rates i reckon it's going to be the whether or not my 122 gun sort of heavy first rates can blast through Horatius and I want to try and capture them as well so I need to try and carefully pick off their sails so we will find out at the start of the next episode which should be out on Monday until then hope you've enjoyed take care and ciao for now